Hey what's up guys, it's King Hype here and today I'm going to be going over how to customize your desktop using Rain Mirror. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to www.rainmeter.net and you're going to want to download Rain Meter. And I'm going to cancel it because I already have it, but you're going to want to run the program and install it. Now this program is free, uh, some, some of the stuff is paid for, but the stuff I'm going to be going over in this video is not paid for. So I think by uh, default, your desktop looks like this. You'll have all your applications to one side, or maybe you have them like in the middle or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but uh, I think for Rainmere, for the best experience, especially on this desktop, I'm going to show you. You're going to want to right-click, hover over view, and just uncheck this last. So this last bit in your. Uh, it should be just your wallpaper on your desktop. If you have anything else on your desktop, then I have no idea how to fix that. You might want to contact support. But the next thing, the next thing you want to you're gonna want to do is once you've installed that, you're gonna want to go ahead and run it for the first time. I think when you run it, you should get a uh, pop up like this: "Welcome to Rain Meter." And this stuff is, I think, in my opinion, completely unnecessary. You're gonna want to right-click on each of these and click on Load Skin at the bottom for each of these. Now, what that was, that's the uh, default Rain Meter skin that's what it gives you it's not very good i don't like it it's not elegant at all and it doesn't have any it doesn't have any good good usable like, doesn't have like, like good usable skins i guess it has a clock but that's kind of where it ends that's kind of the only useful thing out there and that's not even the clock that's not even like an elegant clock it's just a block so i think the next step after you've uninstalled that have a clean desktop and have it running in there you're going to want to go to uh, nxtos.com slash download and you're going to hit that download button again this is a free file everything in this file is free actually and you're just going to want to run that if it's a zip file then I recommend you go to 7zip uh, I think it's not work and that's basically WinRAR if you don't know how to un unzip files then you can watch tutorial on that I'm not here to teach you that I'm here to teach you how to do that but if it's not a zip file then just run it it should I think uh, automatically like give you an option to install the layout and when you do it looks something like this or yep and then it'll you can configure user profile you can just mess around with that if you want but I think what I have done I've installed a bunch of skins to make uh, make it look good so I can configure doc for it. This is I think one of the delete delete delete. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reset everything. You can watch the intro video. I, I didn't find very much help out of it. I mean you could if you want, but I'm, this is gonna be probably easier. So this this NXT OS is basically a uh, just a launcher for your desktop. It'll have you can have I think up to three icons up here. I think you saw I had Steam, Battlefield One and like uh, Chrome up here. You can have a taskbar up here. You can ha and add widgets. You can add time, date, weather, whatever you want. A CPU. I don't know. Use a center clock. And yeah, that's basically it. But I think the best part about this is it's combinable with other skins. So for instance, I w if I wanted to have the Illustro uh, clock, if I, I say I didn't like that clock, I could just have this clock right here. And you could you can combine it with other skins. You can download more. I'm not here to show you download more. I'm just going to show you how to set up NXT OS. I might show you, I feel like, a, a couple other really cool skins. So, if, say for instance, I wanted to add a Steam, I would go through my file path. Oh. Program file 686. I think it's down here. Oh, it's not. Oh boy. Search Steam. think if I'm not sure which one it is but you'll want to find yep yeah, your steam.exe and you're going to want to add an icon you just think you just single click on it if that doesn't work if you can't add an icon you're going to want to uninstall NXT OS and reinstall it that happened to me the first time but you're going to want to pick your icon I think uh, they have a steam icon on here somewhere just search up here steam I think one thing you'll notice is that this isn't the normal file explorer. Don't, don't worry, you can still have file explorer down here. It's normal and everything. This is just the uh, the NXT OS file explorer. And say I wanted to name it, uh, let's say King Hype Steam or something. Oh my God, my spelling is godly. 
and then uh, you want to add as, as a file program. It's not in the other options. I don't, I'm not going to mess with those. I think you guys can figure this out. Going to click OK, and you should get it here and up here. I think when you click that, it should run Steam. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I think you can do that up to up to. You can get add as many as you want here. Say we wanted to. I don't know. Add Chrome. You want to do that, and then I can go up here. I can search Chrome. I can say open file location. I can just here program data. Browse. I get you know. I'm not gonna take the time to do that. I don't have I don't have your guys' time for a while. But uh, that's how you do that. Let's not mess with that anymore. I'll show you guys like a completed version of this later. You guys can do that. I think the next step to doing this is, I guess, if you want to configure your user profile, like you can change your name to literally anything. You could change it to like, uh, the, I don't know, uh, Noodle, Noodle, Noodle Power. Cause I could change it to literally anything I want, and it would it doesn't really do much. It, I think the only thing it does is says Welcome to XDOS Noodle Power or something. I don't know, but that's pretty much it. You're gonna X out of that now. So basically, what you'll have is just this much. Uh, this isn't this doesn't look very good, so I think what you're gonna want to do is go up in the taskbar. You don't you don't have to click anything. I'm just moving my mouse. I'm hovering it, and automatically there's like a box here that appears. Uh, you want gonna hit the plus button, and now you have the option to customize this top dock. You can move stuff around. Uh, I can it's just my volume up here. So I change turn the volume down. It changes with the. Uh, Changes what, what I have adjusted. I can have the weather. For instance, if I wanted to check the weather without leaving my computer or leaving my desktop, I could just have that there. I can. I'm not going to go in the commands. I think that's something you want to look up by yourself. Uh, text clock. This is kind of cool. It takes up a lot of space. I don't like it, but it looks pretty good if you're if you have enough space. Uh, RAM meter. It just shows how much RAM you're using currently. You can check the legitimacy in the task manager. It's about the same, 43, 44. Same with the CPU meter. This is a, uh, it just tells you how much CPU percentage you're using. It adjusts with, well, like, yeah, I see. It's changing. Uh, power, this is for laptops. I'm using a desktop currently, but on uh, my laptop, I have that power up there, so I can check whatever I have. Uh, HDD, so say, I had supports up to three hard drives. I think I have a, uh, optic, or I have a CD in the optical drive right now. And uh, yeah, it's full. So this is my main drive, Windows C. Again, it tells you not how much space you have, but how much space you've used. And then you can't drag it anymore. You can't click on them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you hover here, you get the options. Otherwise, you won't. Next thing you want to do is configure your clock. Go to clock settings. I think this is the uh, this is the main way to get into the clock or to get into normal settings. All right, go back to clock. And I think automatically, excuse me, I think defaultly it comes as this, but you can choose any of these styles to your liking. I know this one, I think this one is a cool looking one for me at least. And um, down here, uh, say for instance, like uh, I went to Spotify or something, I, play, I played some music. I'm not going to open that up because it has personal information, but yeah, you know, say you have music, uh, the album art would show up here so that's kind of cool but I don't like that so I turn that off you can turn that off if you want a smooth second hand this uses I think a little bit more RAM if you turn it off then it's just really chippy you know clock or you call it I don't know you, you know what I'm talking about but smooth it it looks good but you can change it to anything you want I don't know I don't know what you guys like so I'm just gonna keep those out next thing you're gonna hit that top settings from here just hit that and you can change that. I think another cool thing is uh, the drawer. The drawer is not really a feature I use. I don't think I've ever used the drawer. I unloaded it. But it's this little button up here. It doesn't run in programs. You're just going to hit that little button and it'll just give you a whole whole bunch of stuff that you can use. I don't ever use it. But if you want to use it, I'll just keep it loaded on there. The visualizer, I don't, I don't use this visualizer. I'll show you another visualizer that's actually pretty cool. 
Hotkeys, I don't mess with those. Sounds, I don't mess with those. Lock screen, I, I mess with this one. It's not really worth it. It just gives you an extra lock screen to go through. Say I uh, restarted my computer and uh, I, I swiped, or not swiped up. I uh, logged in with my normal password, my Microsoft password. It would give me another lock screen that I could either click. This is a little unlock button here. You have to like, drag it up. I think you can enter a password if you want. <coughs> and then it unlocks the device. And, and um, Yeah, the desktop. This isn't much. It just tells you that you, you can change your background to whatever you want. I think right now it's that by default, but my live wallpaper is running in the background, so it's not going to change appearance. This isn't this isn't like anything crazy, but you can change, for instance, the color you like. You can change it. So I think the opposite of blue is I think yellow. So yeah, yellow. It doesn't look great. White looks best on everything, to be honest. But you can change that to whatever color you want. That's a pretty cool feature. Uh, oh, another cool thing, uh, the game drawer, uh, where is it, right here, so I could, so for instance, I have Steam open, and I wanted to, uh, I, I don't have Steam open, I have it closed, and it's, like, I don't have it open, and I wanted to launch, like, I don't know, CS, CSGO without launching it, I turn this on, and automatically it shows up on my, uh, I think it shows up center, here and if I just click on it, it gives me all my recent games I've played. I think seven or eight. It's no time, but it gives you games. You can add games. I'm not gonna add games. You can add like Overwatch or Battlefield one to say. Uh, so you can launch your games. It gives you option to view your profile. It gives you the option to view your friends list here. Let's just run Steam. I think I don't know what this. Is. I think it just downloads. Oh, it's friend activity. Never mind. But yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. I don't really use this since I normally have overwatch and I'm not really I don't really know how to add stuff in there so I'm not gonna mess with that but uh, that's that the game drawer is a pretty cool feature uh, what else so yeah that's pretty much it I think the next thing I want to show you guys just go to rainmeterhub.com this is just a bunch of uh, rain meter skins I think when you opened it you probably said wow King Hype you have a lot of extra stuff. It's not just Illustro and NXDOS. You have clear text and uh, etc. So I, I downloaded most, if not all, of them from this website. This website gives you like all of them. Say for instance, uh, this is this is a good one. I use this one a lot more than the game drawer. I downloaded this. I think it takes you to an upside up, or not, uh, or it takes you to a, another site. Sometimes it'll download directly, but you just download it. It's a win it's a RAR file, so you just unzip it with a seven zip or if you have a default like WinRAR or something you want to use that, I guess. And then, and then when you hit that, a uh, mini steam launcher pops up here. And you can most played past two weeks. These are like your past ten games. Normally it doesn't automatically detect this is this guy's profile, he's the creator. But what you can do, you can click edit and right here link your profile here. So it's my I think mine is uh it's not Josh thirty seven that's for sure. I think mine is King Hype. So I'll just type King Hype there. And I just hit control S X out of it and hit the refresh button. And now it loads up with all my games that I've played. I used this recently played three games. And I just I don't normally keep the I don't Yes, please. I don't normally keep the game drawer on. I just keep that in the corner. I think it looks a little bit better. I don't. I don't know. It's your personal preference. But um, another skin that I like to use is called Fist Bubble. I think this one you probably saw. It's one of the main ones. Yeah, that's one of the popular visualizers. Now, this one's kind of cool because, uh, say for instance, you went to my YouTube, and basically what this is is an audio visualizer. What it does, it just visualizes your audio. So say we went to my last video. Interactive wallpapers for your Windows desktop or laptop. And I uh, added wave I and I. That doesn't matter. Okay, so it would move with the uh, with the sound. So say, let's, let's, like, play later. So let's get right into it. So say I put like music or something. I don't know. And I just I just played some music. That's some nice music. So just, oh my gosh, I just played. I just played. 
it would visualize audio. Now there are different variants of this. I think my favorite one is just bar extrude. It's uh, it's the simplest one. It just extrudes. I think the center clock. The best part about bar extrude is this. Now you can change the uh, you can change the color, you can change the radius, you can change the um, number of uh, little things that come out. You can change it to like three or four, you can change it to literally five. But that looks pretty freaking retarded. So yeah, so you just mess with that. You can change the item width, the width of each thing. Or you can make them really really skinny. Yeah, so sorry if I copyrighted that. Shout out to Star Wars. Yeah, it's a great movie. You can change the colors, you can change how, uh, I don't know. You can change how smooth they are and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You can change the radius. The radius of the center clock is 50, 150, sorry. So that's 150 right there. I think the next thing I wanted to go over was. Uh, you can another. I'm just gonna go over a couple of sites you can download skins from. I think the number one site, Rain Meter Hub. This is just shows like the minimalistic skins. This is pretty cool. Pretty, it's free, all of it. I think no, there's a couple skins that are not free, but um, I'd say 98% of it is free. Uh, Deviant Art is I think the biggest Rain Meter skin provider. It's not just the popular ones. It's just all skins. So if we go back, I think literally every single. And anybody can make skins. It can be like anime or whatever. It could be like, I don't know, Pokemon or something. But I think the better skins are in the featured section. Feature section holds just a bunch of just a bunch of skins that look cool. Some of these, most of these actually are layouts. For instance, this one would like replace NXT OS. It wouldn't be like an add-on. But some of them, such as I think, July Flattish. No, it's not. Never mind. Some of them, if not, yeah, some of them can be uh, just add-ons. The trends is like, if I didn't like the center clock there, I could get this one. I don't know if you're like a geek or something. I don't know. You could get this thing, which is pretty cool. It looks a lot better in the top bar. Whether I don't really like any of these, since I guess that one works fine. All the music, Viz Bubble, other visualizers, other music controllers. I think the one visual, visual uh, Viz Bubble is fine. And then I think the other ones I used, so I have this one already saved. So I'm just going to go over everything that's in here. So this is the uh, mini steam launcher. I have this bubble installed here. I have this is limit. I think this is one you can find anywhere. I just use this one because it has, it has, it has a pr pr pretty cool uh, pretty cool system. It's I think, I don't know if I went over this in this video, but it has a nice clock too, which... Uh, which looks really, really minimalistic, and it fills up as uh, if it gets to like halfway, that means 30 seconds in. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, this is, I think, this is the most minimalistic, decent. It shows, and if you hover over it, it just shows how much percentage you're using, which is pretty cool. You can find different other, other uh, systems. For instance, Lines 2.0, you could use that instead of Polymate, but I just use that. Oh, what else? I use. Uh, this is, I guess, an optional one. It looks good, and most people have it. It's one of the more popular ones. It's called Honeycomb. You can find this on most sites. Just do a quick Google search, Honeycomb Rain Meter, and it should pop up. Uh, you can run, uh, like, any any little... You can have little little honeycombs if you arrange them all in, like... If you arrange them all in a little, like, circle, it lo kind of looks like honeycomb. This one shows how much CPU you're using. And like I'll just do four for now, but it'll just it's most programs are in there you cannot add your own that not that I know of so far. But it's yeah, it's pretty cool. It's free as well and I think if you just like click on it, it loads it. I already have it running in the background, but like it just starts to program, which is cool. Uh what else? I think that's pretty much it for for my custom layout. You of course there's a lot more you can you can mess with, uh, you can just, there's other launchers if you don't like honeycomb. 
Oh, what else? So, transit. Oh, this is a cool one. So basically, what this says. So I think if you have Windows 10, you have the options to uh, cha change your color. You can pick one from your desktop. Which I think oh, my desktop is that one weird NXT West desktop. But you can like say I want to have a, a red uh, thing, uh, but you can't really like see. I don't know. You can't really see what's down there. So you uh, download Transit Taskbar. You click load. And it you can it just makes your transfer translucent, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you uh, liked it, leave a like and uh, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Um, I guess, well, I guess. Uh, if I left anything out, or if you have something to add, then go ahead and leave a comment below. If you want to know how to get that live wallpaper, just go ahead and check out my last video. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, sorry for taking up a lot of your time. I know that's it's kind of a it's kind of a uh, it, it takes a while to set this up. At least for me, it did because I'm pretty retarded. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys. King hype signing off.